FM модуль радио модуль Радио Дом
Einstein is responsible for relativity theory and also, of, as we already heard, for the black holes, for the warping of space and time. But as it turns out, the warping is not the right word. It is a pooling a plus and stretching plus work, warping. And this pooling has somehow strangely been overlooked. The black hole is the so-called Einstein-Rosen bridge. It looks like this. It's the trough, which is open on the other side, and it consists of two parabolas. And this is the so-called the horizon. And people think you can throw something into a black hole, and if you're lucky, it comes up on the other side in a different part of the universe. But there is no pooling here. There is just a warping of space. Einstein had one really big discovery. And this discovery is that it's the twin paradox. It's the first time in history that a human being overcame some of the barriers of the prison of space and time. The twin paradox says that you have two twins, one is moving away and comes back, and the other stays, and then the, young, then the twin who has made the round trip and comes back is younger. Here are two persons at a certain time t0, a certain time t1, different time elements, are moments in time at the same place, and there are so many moments of conscious experience possible. When you sleep in the night, you have a certain contingent of seconds, so to speak. And this other person arrives in the same state, he's unharmed, also from this point in time to that point in time, but he or she is younger. That is, fewer seconds, fewer living moments have passed for this observer than for that. And that's the first time that a prison of space and time could really be done something to it. If I'm standing here, then this is my simultaneity. This is how time goes for me. And this is the simultaneity of someone else and how time goes for the other. At the moment, we might coincide, but we never coincide completely with someone else. As you know, there are still these micro motions of vibrations and thermal motions. So depending on just the slightest amount of difference of motion, we never live in the same time frame. It is so dramatic because suddenly it turns out Einstein did hear something which, is, which doesn't stand alone. This I call one-point relativity. But it is, as you can imagine, possible to have also a two-point relativity. And this has never been elaborated, strangely. The blinking spaceship metaphor. We think of a long spaceship like a cigar. And the cigar spaceship is blinking. It is switching on and off its lights in time. You are standing here with your eyes. And this is coming into your eyes. And this simultaneous blinking, uh, some of it arrives at you. The image of that, if you, if you are standing here, this is time, this is space, this is moving, then this is blinking, then the light goes like this. That the length of the spaceship here is increased. Formerly, we had that time, if something is moving away as here, and it's sending out light, and at a later moment, this is the time for the moving away spaceship. And if it sends out light later, then this light will have a larger distance in between when it arrives here than it had when it was sent off. And this is the basis of this clock paradox. But here we have the same phenomenon, not with, with time, but with space, with x. And in x also, the size of objects that are moving away increase. Could it be that there is something similar here as here? Here you can use that to make the person come back, and then it's younger. Here you can use that, you can prove that space is really bigger over there, just because of motion. And you don't need to put that into the equations. The equations were right. Einstein didn't make a mistake. He just overlooked. The equations also imply a change of size. This is called warping, stretching. So if it is true, that a space cannot just be curved, as you read everywhere, but it can also be pulled. It is being pulled 
in general relativity. People know that, but they don't appreciate the pooling. But actually, it is pooled not by a factor of 1.5, by a factor of, of infinity, just as you can do with, with time. So if this were true, then we would have a new understanding of black holes. And now I claim this distance from outside here to inside, to the horizon, is not just finite, easy to bridge, but this distance turns out to be infinite. So what is really taking place is the outside looks the same, but then here, when you have reached 1.5, the Schwarzschild radius, but then as you come closer to the Schwarzschild radius, time is being pooled. And this pooling is so long that down here, somewhere, is infinity and at minus infinity there is the horizon and this now means that nothing can ever reach the horizon in finite time nothing can ever come out nothing can ever come inside it's a membrane and this membrane is infinitely far away
Jesu Christu, ein Edo kein Autor hat Theos, dich sei toi Stulosan, hat ei genestai en Tachei, ka esemanen apostelas, dia tu Angelu autu, tu Duloi autu Joanne. I, os emanturisen ton Logon, I am, I am, I am, Hosa Eden. Who is also your brother? I was in the isle that is called Patmos. I was in the spirit. Tetruntes, ich war im Geiste. And heard behind me a great voice. And saw the trumpet saying, He sprach. is what is about to come. Write in a book and broadcast it to the seven communities. Time. The 
the red light stunt granular of articulate pulsing the chat arm. And the gray is dolomitic for a certain kind of silicious granular. Light a dolomitic small silicious rock to the bottom of the dolomitic cell. But the rocks never were lighted and compact. But he was soft to compact rock again. In case to which he had long ago entered to leave and had colored from my bomb position. Leaves on that until after I entered there. I crash this it will be screeches. Victim of former people. Screech by example on someone's car. Someone simply reported my mental houses, but there are also cars that are common original to him. Some of them have been beat out of more than the lips ago and have still not been experienced. Space, perception, and law. But time is a literary style to dread. Things are also usually much there in the times. More slightly, there is a gravity of the center. Gravity will be floaty to hell. Star in Nebula is a solar wave. The other mass has no unit until after the rape. Nebula, creation. The way that the pistol will be known, both of the same unit the sun before. He reproduces a stellar evolution. The location cluster, bright pistols begin with an arch to press at. What do you know more milky than this? Stellar, strong, massive, material absorption for its region. Meanwhile, the bright vibes say to shine More than an earth could echo light in some years too Massive with a helium, luminous, in mere radius This region expects it, the absorbed Earth to go through the connected atom of dust Three stars, other than two people only a spirit is a mob over a commit for the politics. Link connect you. Behind all of this, the galaxy soon has step for fate. Yes, we have robots. Species still steps, but fate is still human. It scales through one life. Another is partly biological. That convention builds machine and result makes system. No one does not work. When the race suggests, are easily prevents. Star men of velocity spaces. Errors with measurements make a basic experiment. So I allow it to see Color the yellow bell was hot. Lost of the accurate measurement of the star of Mecca. In those accurate observations, the temperature processed at one with the oceanic sea. Times have processed in different oceanic forms. But I had. Kinder, es gibt Brot, der Vater ist zurück. One of the greatest hero, justly, on the planet, turns out to have been wrong for once. His name is Stephen Hawking. And Stephen Hawking, he went into a par parabolic flight airplane because no one else would have taken him out into outer space. But in parabolic flight with the Russian airplane, you can experience weightlessness. And he was filmed floating in free fall. 
And he has one idea. It's called Hawking radiation. And it is only this single idea of Hawking's. It has to do with radiation coming up from the black holes uh, here from the horizon. And therefore, the mini black holes should radiate away. And one can calculate it. And they radiate away in 10 to the minus 33 seconds, which is a very short time indeed. And so any black hole produced at CERN will immediately disappear. And this belief of Hawking's belief with equations, but this belief with equations happens to be false if the spatial argument analogous to the time argument of Einstein's is correct. And something else happens, uh, is implied. There is no charge suddenly to black holes. He has a statement which is very interesting and scientific in this book, namely that one could control black holes because they are charged. And if they are charged, you can use an electric cage to confine it. And you could kind of make it non-dangerous, like a wild animal that you put into a cage it would be safe. Unfortunately, this undischargedness of black holes, which everybody believes, is wrong if the big funnel is correct. He had this ingenious idea of keeping them using electric forces. But this unfortunately doesn't work because the charge that goes down such long distance loses all effect. It will be eaten and it is gone. John Wheeler not coined the notion of the black hole. And as I happen to know, uh, he thought about the black hole. It was called a frozen star at the time. A black hole has no hair. So, so this is the no hair theory. What's that, what does no hair mean? It means that all the properties of all the objects that fall into a black hole get lost. Only the mass and charge and spin. These three things survive. This he calls no hair theory. But as it turns out now, one of the three hairs that are left is also not there. So there's only two hairs that are surviving rather than three. There was this LHC, which BBC calls not the Large Hadron Collider, but the Large Hadron Collider, the Large On Collider. Also, it's not known whether they're producing black holes. There are some estimates between 1% and maybe 5, 10%. That's very optimistic. The Europeans did this experiment knowing the risk that they will never forgive it, you see. Also your children will not forgive you that you went out of this lecture hall saying, <laughs> I'm not convinced. Schweigt Cerberus. Lass uns der Toten gedenken. Sputnik number two carried the first living thing into outer space. As a passenger in a special chamber built into the satellite frame was Laika, a curly-haired dog who had been especially trained for this flight. They had the chamber equipped with the necessary food and oxygen to keep Laika alive. So they attached a small, special microphone near Laika's heart and connected the microphone to an amplifier, which then was connected to one of the transmitters that was located in the satellite. On November 6th, after Laika had been up there for three days, all seemed to be going well, and her heartbeat sounded like this. Gravitamundi 
Zur Erde warf die Hündin Strelka sechs gesunde Junge. Eines davon wurde von den Sowjetrepubliken dem Präsidenten der Vereinigten Staaten geschenkt. Die Irrfahrt hatte begonnen. Schale des Zorns Gottes brachte die letzte Katastrophe, in der alles irdische Leben vernichtet wird. Auch das in Babylon, der großen Stadt und Hure, über die ein Kelch voller Wein geschüttet ward. An ihrem Beispiel wird das Ende der Welt noch einmal erläutert. And there came one of the seven angels, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great hall. Hall. 
that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of fornication. So the angel carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and the filthiness of the fornication. And I saw the woman drunken with blood, and the angel said unto me, With what didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman, and of the beast that carrieth her, which hath the seven heads and ten horns. And the beast that thou sowest was, and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, and go to perdiction. Here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains. And the angel saith, The waters which thou sawest were the horse and hither, peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, thee shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate, and shall make her naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her is the great city which reigned over the kings of the earth. It's Babylon! Und nach diesen Dingen sah er einen anderen Engel niederfahren vom Himmel. Der schrie aus großer Macht und mit großer Stimme. Babylon. Babylon, die große Hure, ist gefallen. Sie ist eine Behausung der Teufel geworden und ein Behältnis aller unreinen Geister und ein Behältnis aller verhassten Vögel. Vom Wein ihrer Hurerei haben alle getrunken. Und die Könige auf Erden haben mit ihr Hurerei gekriegen. Und die Kaufleute auf Erden sind reich geworden von ihrer großen Wollust. Zum Fall von Babylon jetzt der Kommentar. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Babylon ist gefallen. Geht aus von ihr, mein Volk, dass ihr nicht teilhaftig werdet ihrer Sünden. So stand es in den alten Büchern geschrieben. Jetzt werden auf Babylon, so jedenfalls ist der Plan, alle Plagen auf einen Tag kommen. Tod, Leid und Hunger und mit Feuer wird sie verbrannt werden. Mehr davon nach einer kurzen Unterbrechung. Und es erschien ein Weib, das hat die Sonne als Kleid, den Mond zu ihren Füßen. Und es erschien ein Drache, 
großer roter Drachen, der hatte sieben Häupter. Es erhob sich ein Streit, ein Streit ward in dem Himmel, den Engeln ward befohlen, zu kämpfen mit dem Drachen. So ward er rausgeworfen, geworfen aus dem Himmel, hinunter auf die Erde. Drache, alte Schlange, Teufel und Satanas, er kommt zu euch hinab. Doch da der Drache sah, dass er geworfen war, verfolgte er das Weib. Da wurden schnell dem Weibe der Flügel zwei gegeben, so flog sie in die Wüste. Jemand höre? Da schoss der große Drache aus seinem Mund ein Wasser, dass er das Kind ersäufe. Da tat die Welt den Mund auf, wie einen großen Schlund auf, und verschlang das Wasser. So war der Drache zornig, trat an den Strand des Meeres und kämpfte mit den Fluten. Dort stand der Johannes, der heilige Johannes, und sah, was dann geschah. Wir sollen gut dir mit sieben Schönen. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw the beast rise up from the sea, having seven hands and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns. Es war wie ein Pader, die Füße wie von Bären, sein Mund von einem Löwen. And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamp and spake like a dragon. And it maketh fire coming down from heaven and causeth all to receive a mark in their right hand. Odysseus 7, könnt ihr uns hören? Nein? Dann fahrt zur Hölle. Lande dort mit dem Schiff an Okeanos Tiefen gestrudel und dann gehe du ein ins modrige Haus des Hades. Grab eine Grube aus von einer L im Gevierte. Gieße dann über der Grube für alle Toten ein Opfer. Erst von Honig und Milch von süßem Weine das zweite und von Wasser zuletzt und mit weißem Mehle bestreu es. Opfere dann ein männliches Schaf und ein weibliches, ihre Häupter gekehrt zum Erebus. Aber du selber wende dein Antlitz zurück zu den Fluten des Stromes, dann werden viele Seelen kommen der abgeschiedenen Toten. Rise, rise, my mates! To Circe gives command, our journey calls us haste, and quit the land. Lasciate ogni speranza voi che entrate. Lasciate ogni speranza voi che entrate. Lasciate ogni speranza voi che entrate. Und die Sonne sank, so hört ich, und dunkel umhüllte die Pfade, als sie erreichten des tiefen Stromes Okeanos Ende. 
Und nachdem er flehend die Scharen der Toten beschworen, griff er die Schafe und schlachtete beide über der Grube. Schwarz entströmte das Blut und aus dem Erebus kamen die Seelen herauf, der abgeschiedenen Toten. Hier ist Mission Control, calling on the Soy 7. Zeig uns die Hölle und ihre Gestalt. Zeig uns den Platz, wo wieder und wieder getan wird, was auf Erden war getan. Zeig uns die Daten und Speicher, die Pixel und Bits der einstmals gefeierten Helden. Spreche Gagarin aus den Tiefen des Raumes und der Archive. Zeig uns die Hölle dort oben hier drunten. Schweig der Brust. Tja, es gibt technische Probleme mit der Übertragung von Hades. Thank you. 
where the Phasians honored me in their hearts like a god and sent me home by ship with generous gifts of bronze and gold and clothes. Da überfiel ihn süßer Schlaf und löst ihm die Glieder. I just finished this tale when sleep came suddenly upon me, relaxing all my limbs and banishing my cares. Oh, my sweet Barbarella, I'm home. Im Weltraum hört ich keiner schreien. of the early flood and I came back Also sang er, der Heere Odysseus, und lautlos saßen sie alle und schwiegen, horchten noch wie entzückt im großen, schattigen Saale des Weltraums. <lacht> 